Camera bags are one of those things for me. I think I have as many camera bags as I do hats. Um, but really, after I got the Z7 II, I started walking around with my camera quite a bit. And I was carrying around this Peak Design a version 1 10 liter right here. This is an amazing bag. I use this for just about everything. In fact, it kind of decommissioned my um, everyday 20 liter backpack, to be honest with you, because the camera body is so much smaller on the Z series and uh, my lenses are smaller that this actually fits almost everything I need all the time. But the problem I was having was it's just a little bit too big. You know, when I'm walking around town and going in and out of some stores sometimes, um, it bumps into the backs of people, sometimes the backs of shelves. And so I was looking for a smaller solution and that's when I saw the Peak Design Everyday Sling version 2, and this here is the smallest one, the 3 liter. I thought, this is perfect. It is small enough where I can carry it really close to me and it's not going to get in the way of anything. And yet I'll be able to still fit quite a bit of gear in this thing for my everyday outing. And so I wanted to take a minute and just kind of share with you um, how I've been using this for the past week and what I've been fitting into it, it actually still amazes me at how much I can get into this little thing and still have it be comfortable. So let's just start with that. However, the first thing that I've done is um, I went and picked up an Apple AirTag and I registered this with Find My app and I stick this AirTag back in this back corner here where the extra strap basically conceals itself. Um, I do that because, I'm shake it down there, get it in there pretty good. Um, I do that because I don't want to lose it, um, or at least if I do lose it, I want to be able to easily find out where this bag is. Because once you put in your camera and a lens, you've got a lot of money sitting in this little thing and you don't want to not be able to find it. Now what I can fit in this still absolutely amazes me. Let's just start here with, this here is the Z7 II with the 40 millimeter f2 lens on it. I can easily drop this right here sideways, fits perfect. And then when I have it around here on the strap, very easy to get in and out of. Then sometimes, because as you probably have seen, I'm not a huge fan of this lens, but I'm giving it a shot and I'm trying to give it a workout and trying to like it more than I have so far. So I always bring my 24 to 200 with me right for right now. Um, I'm sure once I find that everyday carry lens that I want to walk around with, this will probably stay at home a little bit more. But for the meantime, I put this on the right side. I'll leave the divider in there and then this will just slide on in. Now you'll notice what I did though is I did take off the hood. I can fit it in there with the hood, but I find that it just fits a little bit easier without the hood and using the hood or not to use the hood that's another video for another time but let's spin this thing around here and i'll show you the two pockets here on the inside well actually there's more than two it's one big pocket with a zipper and then three little pockets now what i put in these three little pockets is just a cleaning cloth and one an extra battery and then a middle one typically and then some business cards and one of the cool things about this bag that I noticed um, while using it is that there are actually, if you spin it around on these corners right here, there's two extra side pouches right here and right here. And so what I'll do on occasion is I'll bring my little 10,000 milliamp magnetic wireless charger. This thing will snap onto the back of my iPhone 12 and it'll charge it and then it also has an extra slot in the backside here for USB-C where I could actually plug this camera in and charge it if I needed to as well. And sometimes that will fit a little bit easier on the camera body side of the bag and I'll just drop that in there and then I'll take the USB-C cable and put it in the upper zipper, zippered area right there. Now that's just not all this, this little camera bag has. It also has an outer pouch right here. This one's honestly it's a little bit tight. I mean the bag is getting a little tight now with everything in it. But what I usually put in here are just my car keys. And I'll zip it up 
that way I know they're there and they're safe. They're not going to fall out. There's nothing else in that area that I'm going to go into again to get until I get back to my car and want my keys. Um, other than that, you know, it's typical Peak Design. It has their um, really cool quick release adjustable strap. Something else that uh, they added to this from version one that I noticed, which I do like, is this right here, which is a quick release tab. I can't talk higher about Peak Design products. They are absolutely amazing. Um, very well built, well made. This thing is water repellent. Um, the zipper here, if you look at it, the quality of the zipper, no water is going to get inside there. I mean, maybe if I, you know, dive into a swimming pool with it, which I'm not going to do. But other than that, it is extremely well built, well made, and they have excellent warranty on all their products. I can totally speak to that. This version one at one point in time had a little tear inside on one of the inside pockets. I filed a warranty claim and they shipped me out a new bag. It was really easy. Um, I also at one point um, had a divider tear. Again, the same thing. Uh, filled out a warranty claim and they replaced the divider for me. Didn't even have to pay shipping to get it. If you're looking for another camera bag of some type, I totally would recommend um, Peak Design. Also, quick disclaimer. I purchased all this Peak Design gear myself. Um, Peak Design did not send this to me. I own this and I use this every day and I use this most every day on longer trips. And so I basically just made this video because this is what I use every day. This is my experience with it. I really enjoy their products. I think they're well worth the price. Um, and so that's why I recommend them to you. Uh, if you have any Peak Design gear, please post it in the comments below and let us know what it is, whether you liked it, whether you didn't like it, how you used it. And again, I appreciate you watching. Please click the subscribe button above, the like button below, and join me for the next cut.